and I'm using a yellow base. I did want to mention that why I'm using a different tone because I want warmer shadows today. So we'll start with a warm base. It's the little things. This is giving wedding and wedding guest vibes. I have used this palette a few times and I really, really enjoyed it. I believe I bought this myself. I feel like I bought this myself. Don't hold me to that. But I remember really liking it. So let's use it. By the way, this is the first eye palette, not the second. This is the first. I'm also gonna try to keep this pretty simple. We're gonna start with this shade on an E28, press it into the crease, start working that up towards the brow bone. I hope I can keep this simple. I say that and then I break out the new Donny Davy makeup I got over here and I've got rhinestones out to my ears. I cannot be trusted. No, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're keeping it simple. Also want you to notice that I'm using the side of the brush. I'm mentioning this because I get a lot of new supporters every single day and the way that I do makeup and even explain makeup, it seems to be a little different than even what I see everywhere. So I'm using the side of the brush and this brush in particular was designed for this technique. But as you can see, it just smooths it out so beautifully. Look how smooth our blend is already. So tapping is the key. And then if you really get into tapping, you need this brush. Now let's grab this shade from the palette. This is a matte, but it does have sparkles in it. It's not a shimmer. Sometimes they'll add sparkles to mattes and I, I love it. I think it's so fantastic. So we'll take it over this way and it's not the kind that's going to show texture. It's just gonna add a little life to the shadow. Pretty. So now that we've laid down our base, in a sense, we have our transition laid down and we have our brow bone nice and set. I'm just gonna do one final tap over just to kind of see what we're working with here. Me assessing the situation. <laughs> so I'm going to keep stressing this just a few more times. It is called eye shadow for a reason. We are shadowing the eye. We are reshaping it, enhancing it. Years past, we would go in here and we would over blend. I remember I would feel like this wasn't blended enough. But it is, because what that's doing is you can see this is already starting to lift my eye. A lot of times over blending and just wanting that, that just we'll call it blown out look, really isn't doing our eyes any favor. So we need to kind of break out of that. It's okay to be able to see lines. That doesn't mean we're gonna have a harsh line here, but it does mean it's okay to see this much. We're even gonna add more, but even seeing that, that would have bothered me. It's okay, we're shading the eye. Getting a few requests for prom makeup, this is gonna be prom too. This is just special fancy makeup that's not gonna look overdone and I'm gonna do all of it. So I need to quit talking because I run out of slides now. Feral. Okay, let's grab this shade. We were into this shade and now we're going into this one. I'm gonna grab this on the tip of the brush. Remember, where you grab your shadow matters because now we can fit it through here. Still pressing. Start to shade over that way, picking up that same shade and then we'll shade over this way. And you're also gonna notice that I have my eye open and looking straight ahead while I'm doing this. Now let's grab a little bit of the dark brown here, grabbing that on the tip of the brush and I'm gonna only shade here. And I'm gonna have to grab an E27 because I want to shade towards the inner part, but I don't want it to get too wild. Notice how that's barely peeking out. But look at that pretty lift. Meow. <laughs> Somebody come take my phone away from me. I'm out of control. I'm out of control. If you don't have this one, please get this one. This is my little multi-purpose do-it-all little magic wand. So now I have the same dark brown and I'm just going to shade right through here. Just a little bit. Now, as, see how pretty that is when my eyes completely relax? It just adds a little bit of depth there. Now, if I was to bring this up any higher, we'd want to blend it. But since it's just ever so lightly peeking out of my natural crease, it's just giving it a really pretty dimension. Also keep in mind, this is one of our top sellers. So if you're in the market for a spicy little brush, now's the time to grab the E27. All right, so we're gonna grab the lighter shade here in the cream. Shut that immediately. 
and we're gonna apply this with the C31, just a little bit of it. It's gonna add a little bit of depth. We're gonna do a bronzy lid. I don't normally do bronze. I'm very excited. So now let's do, it ran away from me. It's all fun and games until it runs away. Let's grab this shade right here. So we're gonna grab that on the C30. And then we'll start to, ooh, that C30. It applies shimmer so beautifully. So let's go ahead and apply this all over our lid. That's really pretty. And remember to leave your lash line bare. It's gonna help us later. That's stunning. So I want a little bit more definition towards the front with the shimmer, so I just picked up some more of the shimmer and the brush will kind of just do it for us. We're gonna stop that definition about right there. Grab the dark brown shadow again and I'm gonna add a little bit more definition just through here. That looks really pretty, look at that. Okay, but leaving my lid space bare has been the easiest thing I have ever done. I don't know why I didn't do this before. You live and you learn. So I'm grabbing that on an E27 and I'm just going to press it in that blank space. And it just looks so pretty. So easy, don't even have to grab a liner. That eyeshadow base really picks up the pigment and easy. Easy, easy, but so dramatic, so spicy. <laughs> now that we have this filled in, we can kind of pull the rest of that shimmer over this way, just fill in that gap. This is totally optional, but I feel like adding just a little hair extra spice. And I'm loving these, so I'm gonna grab this Sephora collection liner this is in the shade these are the gel ones this is espresso matte and honestly i'm just adding a little extra depth at the lash line this is completely optional and i feel sometimes only i notice these things but i just i enjoy extra steps obviously y'all know this i do my makeup every day and i like makeup i'll take all the extra steps but you don't have to do this okay so next we're going to move on to lashes lashes are important these are perfect for bridal, attending the wedding, and prom. These right here are the ones that I suggest. I also recommend this glue because it gets tacky very, very quickly, like within 30 or 40 seconds, and it doesn't budge. So I recommend this one. Let's pop it on. Y'all see that redness right here? That's, that's what happens when I film two and three looks a day, sometimes four. Please excuse it. I love what I do, but sometimes we get a little, uh, a little bit of, a little raw there. <laughs> See, aren't they pretty? They're just your lashes, but a little bit more furry. Furry's not a good adjective, but I like, I like it. Okay, floofy. It's got the floof, but not too much floof. If you find that your liner isn't lasting on your lash line, it's because once you go back and forth more than that, that liner is starting to set. And once it sets and you try to go back over it, it can lift it, peel it, separate it. So try to find a liner. These are fantastic. But try to find one that goes on within two to four swipes. Look what I got. Look what I ordered. I finally got it. I'm so excited. I got the What the Foundation. I'm not going to use it here. I'm actually, uh, I'll use it tomorrow. I'll film with it. I'm really excited. I love that. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Let's just look at it. Now we know that it separates. We've seen that. We're not going to judge off of that, but oh, it smells like um her. Oh, what is that? That the the face base. It smells like that. Love the way it smells. I'll keep you all updated. We'll do that. I'm really excited. But let's look at the other thing too. Look how pretty this is. So I got dusty rose in this, and you can use this on your lips your cheeks, really anywhere. We can even use it as just maybe a kind of rosy bronzer vibe. I'm very excited. So I'll keep y'all posted. I'm excited. So I already applied this and I applied this when I sat down. I love this one. I like the Banana Bright, but the fact that this one has the sun self tanner in it, I just, I love it. And again, <laughs> as long as you wash your hands after. 
I'm gonna do my skin the same way I did it yesterday. I absolutely loved it, and I feel like this would be so pretty in pictures too. So we're gonna grab the Nano Bronze Indeed Labs, just that much. I'm going, did y'all hear that whistle? I sound like Gopher on Winnie the Pooh. Good Lord have mercy. I need to dig a hole and crawl in it. <laughs> so I, I like doing this under the foundation. I did this yesterday and it was just so beautiful. So seamless, so bronzed, but not orange. So I'm loving this, 10 out of a 10. Go grab it if you are wanting a new bronzer. Grab it and do this technique. This is the C40. And I actually like the way this is applying it better than the prototype I used yesterday. I like that prototype for something else. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Also, believe it or not, this is actually going to be a little bit quicker and easier to do this underneath. Try it out. Try it. And also this formula. I, it was sent to me, but... Y'all, I'm the number one fan now. Number one fan of this. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Yinza foundation. I love this one. This is the Super Serum Silk Foundation, and I'm wearing a light medium while I'm about to. And I'm actually going to hop off because I'm going to talk about another, a part, is it part five? Part five in my series. And I'm going to film that really quickly, but I'll be right back. But y'all saw me do this yesterday, so I'm not going directly on the bronzer, and it can look all wild. Trust me. It's just got to be placed. We're going to blend this out, though. I'm not going to leave you hanging like that. I'm going to show you how I'm blending this out. Rosenda Beauty C41. We're going to start here. Work in the chin. Oh, this foundation is so pretty. Then we'll start here. Okay. And then I'm going to leave it. No, oh my God, please don't. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> and now we're going to go over it. Look how pretty and glowy that is now. Now, before I hop off, I also want to mention that something like this underneath your foundation is also a good way to kind of bring your more winter autumn foundation into your more summertime foundation. So wearing this underneath is such a good idea. I'm so glad y'all got the Winnie the Pooh reference. In a time where everyone's favorite word while they do a makeup tutorial is the F word, I am out here quoting a children's show. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go film something or I'm not gonna have any content for y'all tonight. Busy, busy. Plus I gotta film something else. What am I doing here chatting? Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, but I had to take my bronzer off. It's still here. And the reason why is because I just got too caught up in teaching something and I'm really excited to post it tonight. I'm starting another series and I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited. I love, I love, 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 love helping. And the series seemed to really help a lot of people. So we're gonna be talking about under eye, but right now I'm just setting with my Givenchy powder and I had to take my makeup off several times. And now my eyes hurt even more. Why do I do this to myself? For you, that's why. I'll just use whatever's left in the C40 and I've only set underneath my eyes and I didn't take it off my forehead so it's still on my forehead but it's pretty I feel like that's enough I don't want to get too bronzy it's working out nicely bronze up the sides of my nose I also switched to this foundation only because when I swatch it you'll see in the video when I swatch it it is just my absolute perfect shade the Yinza has to adjust so it does look a little warm until it's all melted in, but this one just swatches perfectly as my shade and doesn't need to, uh, to adjust. I got new good stuff to show you. We're gonna use one of these blushes from Beauty Creations. I'm excited. I wanna use this one, it's called Mood. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab my C41 here. I don't know how pigmented these are. They feel like they're gonna be very pigmented and I'm feeling a very, ooh, that's so pretty. I'm feeling a very, summery sunburn vibe wow that is so pretty a little across my nose and then here where the sun naturally hits okay we might have a new favorite if you want to you can use code rose for a discount i mean it's speaking for itself that's gorgeous so we put on more actually i haven't added any more it's just what's on my brush but let me close that before i get out of control Okay, so while I'm blending my blush, I found this coffee shop, yeah, and I've kind of fallen in love with it, and I wanted to share it because it was so delicious, and I'm so excited about it, and it's called Soul Freak Cafe. I'm going to tag it here. If you are kind of local, you'll see where it is once I tag it. Please check it out. 
it's amazing. All right, let's finish up this eye. So I'm gonna grab the darkest shade on an E27, and I'm just going to press it, grabbing a little bit more. And I'll just take this all across the lash line. That's sultry. Now I'm gonna grab the C30 and I'm grabbing the same dark brown shadow that we've been using and I'm just going to really outline right here. Since it's so sharp, it'll go right through here really nicely. Might as well extend it over this way a little. So I love this eye look because of these really pretty warm tones. You'll notice that it's really making my brown eyes pop, but this would also be beautiful on blue and green eyes. I get asked that a lot, but these shades are really good. Now I'm gonna grab my E29, which I call my finishing brush, and I'm going to kind of drag the eyeshadow this way. Remember, everything is set now. So we can just do a little bit of shaping, kind of melt it into the foundation, into the powder. I'm grabbing this shade, not that one. Lord, this is my first day doing this tutorial. And I'm gonna press it underneath here, and then I'll take it over this way as well. So I finally found the name on this and I apologize because I didn't have the name on it. I'm absolutely the worst. It's Kala and this is the Natasha Denona lip liner that I was talking about. I'm just going to use it again. I love the, love the color. It's so pretty. And we're going to use one of her lipsticks today too. This looks right up my alley and also the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. We had the shade this time. So I didn't perfect my lip liner and I'm going to show you why. Ooh, that's pretty. I love it. Cause now I'm gonna take the lip liner and now I'm gonna perfect the lip line. Now this color is gorgeous. I feel like it's just glowing. And it matches the blush so beautifully. And we're done. This would be my wedding makeup, if I could do my wedding makeup this well. My wedding makeup was similar, and yes, I will find y'all pictures, but it was similar to this. Um, obviously not this level of expertise. I did it myself, but it wasn't the level. Um, this would be prom. This would be wedding guests. This is, this is pretty spicy. Also, go get this lip combo immediately. That is just glowing summer fantasticness. I love it so much. I love you all. Let me go edit this because I'm excited about it. Y'all are gonna love it. I'm gonna have so many amazing tips. I can't wait. I love you. I love you so much. And I will see you in the comments tonight.